In this video, I'm going to try my hand at a different sort of 3D printing. We're going to do some 3D printing with a resin printer. And this is the new Halot 1 Plus or Halo 1 Plus resin 3D printer from Creality. I was really pleased when Creality got in touch and offered me this kit because I really enjoy using my Ender 3 S1 Pro filament printer and I've been getting some amazing results. I'm not going to dwell too much on the unboxing. Um, all Creality stuff is always incredibly well packaged. Creality very kindly sent me all this for free to do a video review. But they did not pay me to do this review. This is my uh, honest opinion of, of the equipment. But it's a really nice bit of kit. You know, a lot of it's metal construction. It's got a nice weight to it. Lovely build quality. There it is out of the packaging. So we boot it up and there's the little Creality laughing boy there running along. And then the first thing to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. This was very, very simple. And once you've connected to the Wi-Fi, you can do a firmware update. And I'd recommend this with any kit really. Get the latest firmware. This didn't take long either. I didn't use all the Wi-Fi functions on this uh, printer. Um, I kept it fairly simple, just loading things onto a memory stick and then putting them in there. Once you've done the uh, firmware update, you have to restart it. There's the old laughing boy again. And then uh, a quick tour. You've got a carbon filter at the back there, just to keep some of the fumes down. That's the screen, and then the touch screen, and we've got some connectivity at the front there. But it really is really well made, lovely quality bit of kit. Now I'm doing the, or setting the level on the build plate. So you put a piece of paper on there, loosen off these uh, Allen screws, and then bring the build plate down. It took me a little while to suss out what I was doing here. But it's all very straightforward. You bring the build plate down onto the uh, paper, which acts as a spacer. Press it down onto the paper and then uh, gradually tighten up these machine screws. Try and do it opposite sides. Attaching the uh, resin vat. And Creality very kindly sent me this um, resin as well to try. This is a transparent blue resin so here I'm choosing my model off the memory stick and that loads onto the resin printer so you can then remove the memory stick if you want select the model once it's loaded onto the machine I've set file parameters uh, to print with and then hit start you can see there's a little preview picture of what we're printing this is one of my skulls that I've designed and I've just done it in miniature first just to make sure the settings are correct and you can see the gorgeous color of this resin it's really nice that so gradually lowers down and each layer is light cured between the build plate and the FEP which is the clear film at the bottom of the resin vat on with the lovely blue lid matches the uh, blue resin very well and there's the first print complete you can't really see the printing in operation because it's hidden by the blue cover but you can see the wet resin dripping off it and it's ready for washing this is my new workshop or workstation I've built up in the loft we're now Unboxing the UW01 washing curing machine. Also very well packaged as you'd expect from Creality. We've got the sort of more traditional orange cover on this. So you've got the choice of this with, for washing. You can either wash the whole build plate or you can uh, put the things in a basket and wash them. But I've put isopropyl or IPA 
alcohol in there you can see this magnetic impeller working and it creates this vortex so there's the little tiny skull still on the build plate you've got a special bracket which you just hook into place you have to use the nut from the um, the actual halo one plus machine to fix it to this bracket I have now bought a couple of extra M6 knobs just to fix that there we are just uh, push that off the build plate you can put the lid on the IPA store it away for another time then there's this reflective turntable for the light curing bit because they're not fully cured pull the uh, supports off before fully curing it's a lot easier so we put the cover on it won't work without the cover on and uh, hit start and you can see the uh, dual wavelength UV lights and the turntable spins round and there it is all cured make sure you, all the IPA is dried off it before you uh, do the final cure but the detail on this I was so amazed absolutely incredible here's the actual design that this is my design of a skull this is in nomad software and here it is and i think this was in halot box the creality slicing software this this time and you can see the support structures on there i'm printing it out bigger this time i was so impressed with my little one i thought i'll print it bigger but this first one was a fail entirely my fault I should have hollowed the model and I didn't because it was trying to print it solid there was just too much surface area and it pulled it off the supports while it was trying to print it so I printed it again hollow this time and this came out fairly well some of the supports had pulled away so it had a kind of a slight layer shift um, but I'm gradually learning how to do all this but this came out pretty well here I'm scraping it off into the basket to wash it and we set it going and the uh, isopropyl alcohol or IPA washes all the uncured resin off so we lift it out after a few minutes give it a little shake a bit like a chip pan And then we have the final print let it dry and then pull the supports off before doing the final curing they do pull off very easily and there it is final UV curing and this looked very cool but I did slice it again slightly differently uh, because I wanted an even more perfect result and here it is, I was really pleased with this. This was sort of, I think this was my third attempt. I'm still, you know, I was still learning about slicing for resin printing, but this just came out amazing. Absolutely incredible, the detail on it. But you can see how good that is. It's uh, really very nice. What I then did was sprayed it with um, automotive clear acrylic or you know clear coat did about three coats on this and it really brings out the translucency it looked absolutely amazing i've also been on my shaper 3d software and i designed this mesh sphere and i also designed a sea urchin which you can see here i thought these would be a good way of showing you exactly what a resin printer is capable of and here they are hanging off the build plate with the support structures i only supported it on the outside and there we are printed washed and cured as i say they're a great demonstration of just what these printers are capable of here's scully i've made him a viking hat with the old horns and we've got some different colored resin now this is the Creality flesh coloured resin. And this is Scully with his uh, helmet on. 
I printed a set all in different uh, scales, you know. So we started off with a slightly larger one, right down to a tiny weeny little one. Absolutely amazing the detail you can reproduce on this printer. And here they are sat on the reflective turntable. And you can see how small these are. And you can just about see the detail. I should have zoomed in a bit more here, but it was incredible the detail on this. So very good for printing miniatures. Here's the my scarab beetle design, which I did several months ago. It's one of my first nomad um, designs, and this printed out perfectly. Here it is on top of a filament print, just so you can see the difference. And here's a modified version of my trilobite. I designed it in uh, Shape of 3D and then modified it in Nomad. I did several versions of it. And these are articulated models and they came out really, really well. And I did a few of my articulated models and they all worked really nicely. See this catfish. And uh, I also did a centipede. But you have to wash the um, uncured resin out of the joints thoroughly before doing the final cure, otherwise you're in danger of fusing it all together. But here's the centipede. He came out really nicely. You can see all the detail on it. I then set about designing a sort of vintage deep sea diver's helmet on shape of 3D. I even put Scully inside it. He's got more outfits than Barbie. Once you've designed it on Shape of 3D, you can use their visualisation um, tools so you can see what it'll look like. Here it is in Chi2 box, all ready for printing. It's you know, ready for slicing. It's got all the supports. And here it is after washing in the IPA. And there's the finished job. I was very, very pleased. The reproduction of the details was amazing. And then I printed it again slightly bigger with the uh, with some grey Creality resin this time. I bought these different colour Creality resins off Creality's website. And I also designed this Happy Spaceman, Waving Spaceman. This was on Shape of 3D. And... Uh, you can see I've added quite a bit of detail so we can test the printer out. And there it is, all printed. Absolutely perfect. And I did this one in several different scales just to demonstrate a sort of reproduction of uh, detail. Right down to tiny little ones. I was very, very pleased. And then a creepier design. I designed this tarantula on Nomad. I designed this from scratch. I wanted just to produce some more detailed models to uh, test the printer out. And there it is in Chi2 box with its supports and the raft. And I printed these in black Creality resin. They have their final cure, and here they are. One's smooth and the other's slightly textured. Different. I did two different designs. Well, my adventures in 3D printing continue with the new Creality Halot 1 Plus or Halo 1 Plus resin printer. Uh, I have to say, really, really impressed with the uh, results I've been achieving, as you'll have seen in the video. The detail is incredible. You know, if someone wants to print miniatures and scale models and things, it really is exceptionally good. It's quite a steep learning curve um, with resin printing. I had a few fails to begin with, but all the fails were down to my 
slicing and preparing of the model. The printer itself has been fantastic. I didn't have a single failure due to um, build plate adhesion problems. It stuck fantastically. Uh, I got on really, really well with it. And as I say, the detail is incredible. That 4K detail is just amazing. Um, but right, I've printed all sorts of things from some of my articulated designs, like this little centipede, uh, to my uh, happy spaceman. Uh, and as you will have seen in the video, you can print them out tiny and they've still got all the detail. Absolutely amazing. Same with my Viking uh, skull. These are all my designs. I really don't want to be printing other people's designs if I can help it. The, I, uh, I'm a maker. I like to design and make my own things. So, But there's that tiny, tiny little skull with all the detail on it. Absolutely amazing. But really, really pleased with uh, how I've got on with that. I think resin printing is a lot more hassle um, than FDM printing, you know, filament printing. But if you want fine details, really it's the way to go. Um, and that printer along with the, um, the wash station just made it so easy. Uh, the Wi-Fi connectability, if you want to use that, is really good. Along with the Creality Cloud um, app you can use. Uh, that isn't something I've fully explored yet, but I will be. Um, I've been putting all my designs on the memory stick once they're sliced and uh, putting them straight in the printer. I used mainly Cheetoo Box, um, but there is the Halop Box, uh, the Creality version and Lychee, which are all um, compatible. And they're all pretty good, actually. Uh, I just um, had spent some time learning G2 Box, so I tended to stick with that. Did a few creepy ones as well, like the um, tarantula spiders. I uh, did a smooth version and a hairy or textured version. And talking of Creality Cloud, I have put the files um, for these two tarantula spiders on Creality Cloud, so you can download them for free uh, if you want to print them off yourself. They do print on an FDM printer as well. This was done on my Creality Ender 3 S1 Pro, which is my go-to printer um, for FDM stuff. Uh, you know, that it's just fantastic, that printer. So uh, I was very pleased to be able to review another Creality printer. Because that, you know, that's a filament print Obviously, it needs to be slightly bigger scale. Um, yeah, other designs I did with the uh, deep sea divers helmet, um, and eventually all of these designs I will upload onto Creality Cloud so that um, you know, you can download them and uh, print them yourselves. But thank you very much for watching. I shall be back soon with some more videos. More rubbish coming soon. Please wear gloves when you're handling resin and IPA. The resin's not good for your skin. And uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description. And uh, as my daughter says, I'll be back soon with some more rubbish.